Today I'm going to teach you how to make nice simple vegetarian uh, soup. I love myself some soup, so I have all kinds of recipes for soup. But a nice vegetarian one that everyone will love, including my daughter who's really picky about what she eats. It's a leek and potato soup, so let's go ahead and get to it. All right, you're going to start by heating up about a tablespoon or two of olive oil in your little pot here. Once it's heated up, you can go ahead and put, I chopped up two leeks. You can put as much as you want in there. I recommend two at least. I'll just give that nice leek flavor to it. And then while it's cooking, you're going to slowly add more oil over the course of about 10 minutes to cook it up. After about 10 minutes, we'll go to the next step. I'll come back when ready to go. All right, it's been cooking for about 10 minutes. It, I forgot to mention, it doesn't matter what size or shape the leeks are when you cut them up. If they fall apart, it doesn't matter um, because you will be blending them all up here at the end. So the next part is you will add 32 ounces of veggie broth. I'm adding more because I'm making more of soup. All right, the second one for me is I'm making, I'm adding two just because of the, pardon me, just because I'm making more from my bigger family. I know they'll eat it, so having a little bit extra is not going to hurt anybody. All right, and then also you want to add a cup, one and three quarters cup of water to it. Then you want to get about two pounds of potatoes or more if you want more potatoy flavor. Less if you're not a big fan of potatoes. Pot potatoes just add a little extra flavor to it and they allow you to um, make it a little thicker. Mix it all up and then you, you bring it to a boil and let it cook until potatoes are nice and soft. So we'll say about 25 minutes-ish depending on a bunch of different factors. We'll say 25 minutes. All right, once your potatoes got nice and soft from being in the boiling water, you're gonna go ahead and get them. Scoot this over a little bit. And ladle them up to, and put them in either a blender or a mixer. Or not mixer, I mean sh food processor. Don't mind my weirdness. You're not gonna put too much in, you don't want to splash it where you wanna be able to actually blend it up. So I'd say about halfway full. This is why it doesn't matter what, how you cut the potatoes or the leeks, because you're going to blend them up anyway. So I'm just going to put this in here, and I can start blending it up, and I will cut back to you guys once I have it all blended back up. When you blend, as you blend it up, you're going to pour it right back in the pot, and just keep scooping out until you get all the pieces all blended up. If you want to leave some pieces in there, some chunks in there to have some more uh, texture and stuff to your soup, then go for it. All right, once you got it all blended up and put back in there, you can see it's a lot thicker now. I missed some chunks, but that's okay. I don't mind getting a chunk of potato in there once in a while or some leeks. To put the finishing touches on, you're going to want a few tablespoons of cayenne pepper and then just the amount of salt and pepper you want to taste. I'll get all the cayenne pepper out of here. Go, go. You're free. All right. Then mix all that up, and it is ready to serve. Now this soup is nice and creamy as it is. If you want to make it a little creamier or thicken up, you can add some, uh, mix some flour and milk together and pour it in here, or get some cream and put it in, just to make it a little thicker or a different taste to it. Or go ahead and mess around and add your own little extra ingredients to make it your own little taste. There you have it. Some nice, yummy, pretty thick leek and potato soup. And there you go. Like I told you, nice and simple. Doesn't take long, maybe about half an hour to 45 minutes uh, to cook up and ready to go. It has a nice little thickener with the potatoes in there, or you could add your own little thing to make it thicker or a change of flavor. Other than that, it's good to go. So go ahead and try it out. Let me know how, what you think. Put it in comments down below if you tried it out and added or subtracted anything or if you 
just tried it the way it was and let me know if you liked it or not. Also, while you're down there, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that little bell doohickey. So that way you know when I post more videos. All right, see you around.